Hello everyone, I am Sam and I'm joined by Trafford, we're from our same productions. My name's Lee Harriet. Hi. Uh, yeah, uh, this is Inky Doodle Taylor. Okay, uh, Inky Harriet. That's his full name, Inky Doodle Taylor. Yeah. Sometimes people just call him Inky Doodle or Taylor. Um, and welcome back to another episode of Lovely Cooking. Yay. Yeah. We don't have a theme tune, but it feels like that. <laughs> 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 Nice. Okay, so today we are making <laughs> low carbohydrate cookies or chocolate chip cookies. Um, so these are um, almost free from refined sugar if you use um, sugar free chocolate. They are gluten free, wheat free, and you could make them, uh, they are vegetarian, you can make them vegan if you swap the butter and chocolate for vegetarian substitutes. Vegan. Yeah. Vegan, vegan. sorry. Yes. So. Vegan. Okay, sorry. <laughs> right, let's get started. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put 200 grams of ground almonds, that's the base instead of flour, into a bowl. Pre-measured. Um, so that's, yeah, that's measured out, we've already got that ready. And um, the next step, we're going to put into that, we're going to basically put all the dry ingredients into here. So we need just half a teaspoon of bicarb soda. Now does this guy do half a teaspoon? He does not. So I'm going to need another teaspoon measure. So half a teaspoon of baking bicarbonate of soda. Bicarbonate. Goes in here. There we go. Bicarbonate. There you go. Oh, I'm doing something this time. Okay. Um, so that's. Uh, next, we have some dark chocolate. We want to chop up. I'll show you how to do that. Who wants to do that? Uh, please. Yeah, track will be the next thing. I'll just demonstrate a little bit. Careful, they're not sharp. So we just want chunks that are about that big. I see. Okay, so we don't want them too big. So we don't um, want them too small. And we don't want them too small. Um, and usually what happens is they melt a bit. It makes the cookies kind of chocolate chip, but also the hint of chocolate inside them as well, which is quite nice, I think. So, yeah, like this. That's what we could have done. What's that? You could blitz it on a blender. Um, it's entirely up to well, you. Well, if we really wanted the uh, chocolate to taste like bacon a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's a fake name. Not too sure about that. Last if, you haven't watched it, if you haven't watched the last lovely cooking video, I suggest doing that. Sam will put a link in the description. I, I don't or there'll be a card or something. There you go, Sam. Right. So no, no, keep your card fingers out the way and just go across and cut it into about the similar size so shape. A, isn't the top right like here, kind of? Yeah. Okay, we'll click that and watch the next episode of Sam. Then come back and watch this one. Yeah. So in the meantime, we need to, um, in a minute, we're going to melt this butter and mix into it. There's four tablespoons of butter in here. That's a very weird amount, but that's what it is. Just go with it. Um, we've also got some vanilla extract and maple syrup. So instead of sugar, we're using maple syrup, which is a natural sugar. So it's a bit healthier for you. Are you okay there, Taylor? Yeah, I'm just putting it on. Okay, okay. okay. Right, um, let's come back once Taylor's chopped out that chocolate. Chocolate is all chopped. Blah. Chocolate. That's hard to say. To chocolate. Say that. The chocolate. It's another chocolate. instance of our brain. You know, put that into the other dry ingredients. What you don't know is yeah. me and Chuck are actually a hive mind. It happens. Conspiracy theory. Now you want to lick the knife. Don't ever do that. <laughs> Especially if it's a sharp. Especially if it's a really sharp knife. Okay. okay. Stab him in the foot. So the next thing we're do, going to do is melt this butter. If you guys follow me. We're on a journey. Well, right, right, so the butter to... is practically all melted now. Trafford, if you would like to grab a teaspoon, the tablespoon measurer, okay, and we see. now need uh, two and a half tablespoons of maple syrup. So if you do two in there, and put it into the butter. Into the zip it down. So do two in there, and then we'll do the final half in here. So we can have half. That's well. very careful hand. No. Right, none of these measures have half a tablespoon. Weird. 7.5 is the amount we If need. only you could see what we're doing right now. So, yeah, uh, yeah. so just. Yeah. How much we're doing in this one? Just the whole thing? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, if only there was. Move that down again. Why did I move that? That's it. One of them. One of them. So, yeah, it's two and a half tablespoons of maple syrup. If you want it really sweet, put a bit more in. What um, do you call it? More in. What's the point of me measuring it, Sam? So we know that we're just doing a bit extra and not 
we like it. We like it sweet here at the yes. RCA Productions office. Um, so, the RCA if you want to preheat the oven, Taylor, real quick. Um, I mean, that's close enough. But that, that's I don't know how the oven works. Actually. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, then we also need half, uh, like two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Yes. And we put that into the wet ingredients as well. So all the wet ingredients, the melted butter, the maple, and the vanilla, have all gone into the Wait, same bowl. That's not good. That's not good. It's vanilla extract. If you can't get to sleep, put a few dabs of that on a piece of tissue under your pillow. Apparently. If you can't sleep, take a shot of the vanilla and extra. Ooh, not too sure of that. Nice. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> who wants to do the most important bit and mix it all together? Okay, if it goes wrong, it's Taylor's fault. Because he's doing the most. Alright, pour that in there and give it a good mix. I want to do it as slowly as possible. Get really aerated. Okay. <laughs> Have it all go down the side of the bowl. Yeah, you need to break the surface tension. Try and scrape out the bits that are left in there, just to be sure. Rip the knife. Now we're using salted butter. Um, if you're not using salted butter, you might want to put a pinch of salt in here as well, because it's not. It's quite nice to have a bit of salt in there. But do not do salted butter and salt. I made that mistake once, and we had really salty cookies. I also made these once, and I, instead of vanilla extract, actually, but then we put ginger extract in. Ooh, that, so that, was, that could be nice. Yeah, it could be. Depending on how much you put in. I've got loads on my chin. <laughs> yes, <laughs> ginger <laughs> extract. The extract of... That's what happens. If you have too much ginger, you become ginger. Yeah, yeah. that's true. It's scientifically true. Too much orange juice. Well, but that could be it. <laughs> it tells so, you yeah. ginger, it tells you to a character. Trapper had, used to have, like, really dark hair. Dark, like, black hair. I've dropped too much orange juice. Now I'm ginger. There you go. That's what happens. Let me just finish it off. Excuse you. Sir. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Yeah. Might distract you slowly if you're like it. Just kind of going all over the place, really, but it's okay. You keep, you keep doing. How mixy it is. Look, everyone, it's mixy. Now this doesn't make that many. If you want to make a few more, I recommend doubling it. When I do it in the office, I usually double it. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, so that is good. Uh, that is ready to go. Pretty so you good. might notice okay, it's also egg free as well. So if you're allergic to eggs. How many eggs are in there? Zero. Free egg. No, no, no zero. eggs. Zero free eggs. Zero free eggs. Yes. Anywhere in between. Okay. Let's zero grab a baking eggs. tray. We have a baking stone, <laughs> which is impregnated with loads of oil, so it's we don't need to use. having a baby. If you... <laughs> so much oil. Yes. If you don't have one that's already non-stick, then you might put some baking paper down just in case. But these are quite worthy anyway. Uh, let me just wash my hands just to double check. And we're going to roll these. I'll shape these out for you guys. I'll do it because then I have wrong. a star I'm to blame. No, we're all Why having should balls. should be a unicorn. We're all having circles. Can I can mine look like Gorbachev, please? Who? Gorbachev. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> put, up a, put, put up a picture of Gorbachev. So right. you want to do about golf yeah. balls, rather, a bit smaller than golf ball, um, and then pat them out a little bit. Um, now these may or may not spread out, don't worry if they do and ours don't, and don't worry if ours do and yours don't, because I've had it go both ways before, mm -hmm. so... You should be really scared if some right, uh, some change and some don't. That means no, you have... Well, that, means well, that, that means your oven isn't evenly heated and you need to fix that. Or it that. means you haven't mixed it in properly. But some of them you have and some of them you have Yes. The wacky world we live in. Yes. Chaos theory. That was a delightful noise. Okay, so this looks like it's going to make, you can make these bigger or smaller if you want, because yeah. there's not much to actually cook in there, we're just waiting for them to go a bit crispy and then they're basically done. Could these ones have gone dark because some of the chocolate has melt, mixed and melted. You could in. make a brownie with this also, just instead of separating it into um, spheres, you could just make one big slab. Maybe, I've never tried that before. Um, you, might have to leave in. you might have to leave it in for longer because it'll be more dense. It'll be quite cookie like. Yeah, you you can you can um uh, I have done these with yeah, pecans before. Yeah. You can take out the chocolate and replace it with pecans if you want to be healthier. That's quite nice. It's pecan and pecans. Get it? And there's some over there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they have shot? some pecans oh, yeah. in the office today. I don't know. Could they? No, they're not. Maybe they are. Now they are. Yay! It's like a, a cone of vision. Okay, this one might have gone a bit smaller than the others, but size doesn't matter. 
Especially in baking. No, that's, what I, that's what I was being told anyway. Well, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, because always it's because he's freakishly tall. My cookies just not always way too small. Right, they are ready to go. Mine too. It's weird, instead of like rising and going out, they always shrink. So they, these, too cold we'll the see other. how they come out because it differs. No, like I said, I've cooked it differently before. I just put plastic. Uh, they take about 12 minutes. You want them to be fairly firm, but they are meant to be gooey cookies anyway, so they won't go extremely firmly. And you also want them to be um, crispier on the outside. So look for that. So about 12 minutes, maybe more, 15 yep. hens. So, so we should come back the once these are done. So the cookies, the cookies are out, they're over here, and don't you just about see them, careful, they're hot, hot, hot. Um, they're just hot, 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 cooling hot. down a little bit on the tray, but because we've got a stone tray, it's not going to cool down for a long time, but we need to leave them for a bit to set up, because they're quite gooey as, when they're hot, and then oh. move them onto a rack to cool down. So, well actually, it's best probably to leave them to cool down fully before you move them to a rack before cooling down. Okay. Um, <laughs> So whilst we're waiting for them to cool down, we're going to do a new segment I like to call Ask the Chef. Logo! Oh, yeah. Okay. Box around it. It's yeah. going to be here. Ask the Chef. This is really going to be fun for future editing sound. Yeah. So do I of you have a question to ask me? I'm not a professional chef, I just have experience. Ink um, boy does. Ink man. Inky Ink man. man. Um, this wasn't predetermined or anything. <laughs> totally. I'm what gonna, is uh, the flavoured shape triangle? The flavour triangle, yes, that is quite a popular thing. Um, basically, uh, so you know, so imagine a triangle. You know the triangle that you have for... Oh, uh, why did I all... <laughs> I literally, that wasn't not a triangle. or anything, I just went... Uh, <laughs> that's not a triangle. <laughs> you know the triangle for fire that has like, um, Food, oxygen, and space, or something. The heat, heat, heat. It's still heat, yeah. heat. Yeah, it heat the best. Um, so it's like that. You have three main flavors that most dishes contain. You need to try and get balanced. And they on the triangle. They are salty, sweet, and acid. I'm pretty sure. Mm -hmm. So salty, obviously salt. Also things like bacon, maybe fish, anything that's naturally salty. Sodium salty-y. chloride. Yes, yeah. it's salt. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, and also. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That fits into that triangle. Sea water. And then um, you have sweet, which is obviously sugar, maybe maple syrup, fruit as well. Uh, Don't forget that's very sweet most the of the time. What's the chemical compound for sugar? Uh, N6H12O6. N6H12O7. Glucose. C6. 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 What did I say? N. N6. N6. Sudden nitrogen in everywhere. Nice. Yeah. Um, an explosion. Yeah, so then also. Acid is things like vinegar, lemon juice, um, other things. Oh, so tomato is actually quite acidic. But tomatoes are a fruit, Sam. Uh, How can they? If you have a can of tomato acid. and tomatoes, they're quite acidic. Yeah, I know. But you yeah. said fruit comes in the sweet. Well, not all fruit. Tomatoes are a fruit. Um, but yeah. there is actually um, separate of the flavor triangle. There are five main flavors of or tastes. But Sam. Oh wait, you said separate to the triangle. Yeah. So I was just about to say, because Sam, that's not a triangle. They are, like, yeah, salt, <laughs> they are salt, salt, sweet, sweet, um, bitter, bitter, bitter. Um, and then kind of again, acidic again. Sour. 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 Yeah, sour, or sour. sour or acidic. Um, acidic could be in there if you want. And then umami as well. Umami. So they're like the five burger. main fruit flavors. Tavers of place. Tavers of place. Tavers of place. Place of taser. I can't. I give up. Uh, just, just a dub it in order. Yeah. yeah a dub it in. Your flavor. Anyway, so they're the main. They're the main five. There are. I guess there are other sub ones. If you. I don't yeah. know what they are. But yeah. Um, but so Sam, this umami. What umami. is? Umami. What, what does that umami mean? Umami is quite. What does that directly translate to? Put it between my know. hands every time, or if I'm gonna look like an idiot. Okay. Umami. I'll put it just above your hands. U umami. <laughs> so umami is um, kind of also called savoury. It's quite a weird taste to describe. Quite hard. It's um, good mushrooms, in, perchance. Yeah, mushrooms, that. anchovies. I think Indeed. celery and celeriac maybe as well, and um, things like that are quite popular. And um, you can, I'm pretty sure, buy just powdered umami. I think they extract it. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's like a chemical or something. So it's not a flavour. It's a thing. Uh, well, I don't know exactly. I'm not. I'm not that. 
Well, this, I thought it was like a flavour, like that joke well, that you I, used I to think do, like, like, like um, salt is made of, like salt is NaCl <laughs> and like sweet is um, glucose or some form of sugar and like acid is some form is like hydrogen ions or whatever. Right. I think umami is also some kind of compound that persists throughout certain foods. Because so that, that, pretty um, sure. that reminds Maybe me of a that, group of compounds. That reminds me of that joke that you had where it was like pure concentrated colour. It's like, oh, this pen is made of pure orange. No, <laughs> that was a joke that you had. I don't know. I got it and I remembered it. Anyway, so, yeah, that's what umami is, and that's kind of a triangle of flavours mm-hmm. slash tastes and the main five that you can, that's humans cool. can kind of taste. Yeah, there might, there might be more that humans can't taste, I'm not quite sure, because it's all to do with taste buds and your nose as well, because aroma is actually quite a big percentage of what you taste as well, because when you bring food up to your mouth, you smell it before you taste it, even if you're not trying to. And human perception is uh, subjective, so uh, if umami sure. t- might taste different to you than it does to me. There you go, so that's kind of the answer to that. Um, that was Ask the Chef. Logan! Up here, I'm holding it. So. Okay, so I was not good. you guys have finished whatever you're doing. Um, the cookies haven't fully cooled down yet. But we're just gonna like, we're carefully gonna take them one off, and we're gonna have a taste test. They might be a bit warm. I'll go. They're quite hot to give them a little blow first, probably. Because the chocolate is gonna. <laughs> careful, they are kind of crumbly sometimes. Oh, I like the, the gooey centre. Yeah, they should oh, be nice and gooey. They crumble over the floor. I crumbled my hand. They got crumb everywhere. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. You can, no. like most cookies, you can upgrade these, you can put orange zest in, you can use white chocolate, you can do whatever you want really. But now you know the basic recipe. You've done it again, Sam. Successful. It's incredible. And now we've got to clean all this up. But yeah, um, that's about it. Go watch the previous two episodes of Lovely Cooking. Thank you, Inky Doodle Taylor, for joining us. No problem. Um, be here. Trafford for joining us. And I'm Thanks Sam for from RSA Productions. And thank you for watching this episode of Lovely Cooking. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.